Now, you might think that a French play where three men sit around for an hour and a half talking about modern painting is not exactly a recipe for success in Britain. But five years, 23 cast changes, and eight theatre awards later, Art the Play is proving that it is. So, Simon, you played Serge in Art for eight weeks in the West End, and now you're on tour with it. Tell us about the play. It's a great play. It's very funny. It's about, essentially, it's about art. Uh, my character, Serge, has bought an a entirely white canvas for about £20,000. His best friend, Mark, they've been friends for 15 years, cannot believe how naff this canvas is. And he, he goes along with it to a certain extent and then explodes. And there's a middleman, Ivan, um, who the three of them are very, very close friends who is bounced between the two of them as they row about this painting. So essentially it's about a painting, but really it's about the friendship, and it's about how friendships, male friendships, move on, um, or don't move on. It actually sounds quite highbrow, quite French, like art and male friendships. Is that, is that a, but yet it's been very successful. It's run for five years in Britain. Why do you think that is? I think basically because David Pugh, the producer, had the idea that he would run each cast for three months, and... Um, so you get incredibly good cast coming in, very diverse, and I think there's that sort of novelty value. I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of people are coming to see it because I'm in, in peak practice. Philip Franks is in a heartbeat, um, and, you know, the last cast had Nigel Havers in it. You know, um, but Warren Mitchell has done it, Stacey Keach has done it, uh, John Boy, Richard Thomas from the Waltons has done it. You know, I mean, they have Judd Hirsch from... America have done it. You know, they have very different sorts of people. So long as you have a group of believable friends, you can cast it any way you want. For the last time I demand you take back what you just said. In my view, the two of you are an aberration, a pair of fossils. Whoa, Mark. No, no, no. no. <laughs> get away, get away. Mind your own business. You said most people will come and see you will recognize you as Dr. Will. Were you conscious of trying to make Serge as different from Will as possible? I, do, I didn't have enough time to even think, actually. Um, no, he's nothing like, like Will at all. I mean, yes. I'm the same person, but no, I didn't even consider that. I, it was a question of finding Serge's inner, inner beat, and uh, it's entirely different. It's very front foot. It's very sharp. Um, I'm an actor at the end of the day. You know, the, Dr. Will is a great character that I've enjoyed playing and may play longer. Serge is the character that I'm playing at the moment, and I really love playing him. So you worked in TV for 10 years, you hadn't been on stage. What was it like to come back onto stage after all that time? Uh, it was entirely terrifying, actually. It's not now, but the first performance I thought I was going to die. I really did, you know, what? you just... Well, you just think, well, what did I think I was doing, thinking that I could do this? And in fact, actually then, and, and suddenly, having done it in front of nobody, suddenly having gales of, la of laughter coming back, and your, your timing that you had worked out in the rehearsal period <laughs> is sort of thrown. Um, you then think, oh, well, actually, no, they were right. This is a funny play. What, what's next for you? I don't know. We've, we finished the tour at the end of April, and um, we'll probably be doing some more peak practice. Um, there's other television projects, but at the moment, actually, I'm very happy to be doing theatre. I mean, I've got young kids, so I have to be realistic about, about um, the length of commitment doing theatre. Um, but I've, this has definitely given me a taste for doing some more.